<laughs> oh, that was the best day ever. I'm currently in a car at the moment, as you can see. I hired a car for two weeks. So I've left Chiang Mai. I left Chiang Mai this morning. And I'm doing the Mai Hon Song loop, which is a big loop that goes around a few towns. Um, my first stop is going to be Pai. So I'll be in Pai for about four days, maybe longer. But before I go to Pai, I'm currently in the town of Ponyang and I'm about to do something really fun. So come with me and I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, let's go, I can't wait. Okay, so I paid 800 baht for two goes on the roller coaster and 12 stages of the zip line. It's probably about 800 baht, it's probably about 35 Australian dollars. Alright, I have to do the coaster first, so I'll go do that now. Okay, here I go. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh ho ho ho! Ready? Yeah. One, two, go. See ya. Why the hell am I climbing up here? <laughs> Jesus, why do I... I've said it before and I'll say it again. Why do I do stupid things? I'm scared of heights. Yeah, I'm doing stupid shit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no one told me that there was going to be a drop that I had to jump down. I thought it was just all flying. Like I just thought, I just thought it was all zipline. <laughs> I didn't know I had to jump down here. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> How, how fast does it go first? Oh shit. Pop leg down. Okay. You ready? No. No, why? Ah! <laughs> Run. Oh. Okay. I don't like heights. <laughs> okay, climb up here? Yeah. Alright. Should have done this when I was 26, not 46. Ready? Okay. Ready? Yep. Hi. Hi. Hi.
You don't have one. Thank you. <laughs> What the hell am I doing? Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Just keep going? Yeah. <gasps> oh. Okay, that one was a bit easier. <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> That was so much fun. I'm, I'm, I'm petrified of heights, so <laughs> there was a little bit of screaming going on, but oh man, that was fun. All right, I'm going to go on the roller coaster one last time and then head off. <laughs> All right, I've just finished at the Adventure Park and now I've got a three hour drive ahead of me to Pi. Let's go. I've just driven past this old cafe called the Bluebell Cafe. I'm gonna go in there, I need a coffee. So I'm gonna have a coffee and keep driving. Okay. <laughs> so I just bought two coffees because when I hopped in the car, I dropped it and coffee has just gone all through the dash, all through everything, all through my charger, just coffee everywhere. So I just spent the last 10 minutes cleaning it up and then had to go in and buy another coffee because I wasted half of it. But now that I have everything sorted, I've got about another two hours to go, so I'm going to start driving, make my way to Pi, and I'll show you some footage along the way. All right, let's get out of here. Cinnamon? Who puts cinnamon in coffee? Ugh. Oh, that's gonna be gross. I'm gonna have to stop and get another one somewhere. Halfway up, there's a place I always stop to when I drive up to Pi. And it's called the Witch's Brew or the Witch's House or something. Something to do with witches. And it's just a coffee shop, but it's just a nice sort of midway point before you get to all the bends. And I'm hoping, because of COVID, that it's not shut down. So we'll see how I go. Okay, looks like the cafe is open. Hopefully I can get a decent coffee now. Not the one that tastes like a dessert. Oh, okay, I think I'm about halfway, so. Oh, it's time for a coffee. Uh, cappuccino? Uh, yen? Yen. Yeah. 
I made it to the cafe. I've got my nice cappuccino. I don't know, something about being here makes me miss my mum. <laughs> I love you, mum. All right, I'm gonna take my coffee and keep driving. I think I've got an hour left. So it's quarter past three, I should be in Pi by about half past four. All right, let's go. Jesus, get off the road. When the sky is falling down and the clouds get in your eyes, I'll be a ghost. Funny because there's so many bends. There's all the warnings about, you know, if you if you're driving, it's okay. But if you're a passenger, it's a good idea to take travel sickness tablets because passengers normally tend to get a little bit sick with all the all the bends. But situated up the hill in this park, I think this is the part where most people get sick because there's little signs. To pull over on the side of the road but the sign is a picture of someone leaning over a toilet they basically have designated spots where you can pull over and throw up Okay, so I made it, made it to Pi finally. So I've just checked into my little guest house. It's kind of like a little hut. I'll have to come down here and show you. But you've got like your own little balcony and it's right next to the river. So it's really cute. <laughs> but I'm tired, I have a headache. So this is a place here. So it's Golden Hut Bungalows. So you're right next to the river. And there's my little little hut, so I'm staying for two days. As far as accommodation goes, it's very basic. There's just a fan and a, a really, really hard bed. <laughs> but <laughs> when, you, when you're paying $15 a night and you're on the river and you've got views like this, then it's all worthwhile. So let's see what $15 a night gets me. It's really, really dark. <coughs> but you've got a bed with a nice pink doona. Fan. A view of the river. And a bathroom. That's all I need. All right. I'm going to go have a rest. And then... There's a walking street, so the main street, every night there's just markets on every night, so I'll go and have some dinner soon and go for a walk, but right now I'm going to have a bit of a rest and I'll check in with this tomorrow. See ya. You better start